unite. We must unite. We must unite. Wir müssen uns vereinigen.
¡Buenísimo! ¡Congratulations! ¡Tim Buda y Patiently. It's nice to see that the girls, the Team Wales Hopefuls, have got two now. And we just hope that uh, people here and wherever you are, you get many more pigeons. Chance all day for them to come today. Hi, we are a team on Ikenes and Chris Covers. We are still waiting for our uh, two pigeons, Falco and Leonie. We, we are hopeful that they are coming today. So. But we support for all Belgium pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nada más llegar, puedes sentirlo. Es una energía que te envuelve. Te sientes muy pequeño. Pero después, tú rentras en casa más grande que nunca. The beaches, the volcanoes and the camels. And the dinosaurs! It's an energy that's contagious. It invades you completely. It is the light, the temperature, the lucht, the geur. It is an energy that has five senses. Our brilliant story didn't start on that holiday. It had started a long time before, although we hadn't realized it. We went to the Canary Islands every summer to recharge our batteries so we could continue our lives in Paris, work, the house, grandchildren. It was our first holiday since we'd retired, so we were able to stay for longer. We did the same things we'd always done before. I don't mean anything different or unusual, just those little moments that make you feel good. A walk along the beach, a drive at sunset with spectacular views, breathing in the pure mountain air, savoring delicious food, drinking good wine. 
One afternoon at a concert, and after insisting a great deal, as I always felt embarrassed to dance, Charlotte took me onto the dance floor. While we were dancing, she whispered, Cedric, I don't want this to happen only once a year. I want to feel like this every day. So, this is the story in which we learnt that, if you really want to, you can find all those little things that make you happy wherever you are. Listen to the call. My brilliant story started one day I got home to see my children on the PlayStation yet again. I wanted to take them out into the street and shout, Look, there's a whole world out here, OK? And back to the that same night when Carl arrived home, we compared our complicated diaries and bought plane tickets for a holiday in the Canary Islands. It was summer, and as soon as we landed, we began to feel the soft breeze on our bodies and the need to share a million experiences, the four of us together. We had a great time. It seemed as though night would never come, as during the day we discovered new things, went on excursions all over the island, connected with nature, relaxed while we saw the children enjoying themselves no end. It was our first adventure in eternal spring. My children had never seen a camel before and Jürgen loved them so much that he asked us to buy him one. This is why my brilliant story is a story of light that started on that day when we discovered that playing from the sofa isn't really playing. 